He had hoped to reduce a 15-year sentence, but is now facing a much more dire predicament. An appeals court ordered a retrial where he was handed down capital punishment. Defendant Robert Lloyd Schellenberg has been given the death penalty for drug smuggling, and all of his personal property will be confiscated. Canadian national Schellenberg has been convicted of attempting to smuggle over 200 kilograms of methamphetamine from China to Australia. But the timing and the speed of the retrial prompted Prime Minister Justin Trudeau to call the decision arbitrary. It is of extreme concern to us as a government, as it should be to all our international friends and allies, that China has chosen to begin to uh, arbitrarily apply uh, death penalty in cases uh, uh, facing, uh, as in this case, uh, facing a Canadian. Chinese state media, however, rejects the accusations. Schellenberg's trial has exacerbated already sour relations between Ottawa and Beijing. In December, Canada arrested Meng Wanzhou, chief financial officer of Chinese telecoms giant Huawei, this at the demand of Washington. She's been accused of circumventing U.S. sanctions against Iran. Days later, two Canadians, a diplomat Michael Kovrig and consultant Michael Spavor, were arrested in China on suspicion of endangering the state. While the two countries battle to take the upper hand, the accused wait behind bars. Schellenberg's life is on the line. His lawyer says he will appeal again.